Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Chris, this is my shop partner Oots, and in this video I'm building this really beautiful little tray with all sorts of cool hand-cut joinery in it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, let's get started. I start this project with a really beautiful piece of walnut that I'm gonna use for the sides of the tray. I already cut them to length and then dimension with some hand planes. Then I lay out and cut the through mortise and tenons, which will be the joinery that'll hold the side pieces together. As you will see, I'm using just hand tools for this project. I often use power tools for large cuts and dimensioning or to speed up certain processes, but seeing as this was such a small project, I just wanted to slow down, challenge myself, and enjoy the peaceful and rewarding process of making something entirely with my hands. If you enjoy this video or any other video that I've made and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you hit the little bell icon too, that'll give you notifications anytime I put out any future videos. So thanks so much for that. Next, I'll start working on the bottom. I take the maple panel that I previously cut and dimensioned, and I'll rub my scrub plane diagonally across it to give it a nice kind of scalloping effect. Next, I'll take a moving filister plane and make rabbits around the perimeter that are gonna fit into dados that I'm gonna make on the side pieces. Then I'll take my number six hand plane and add some chamfers to the underside to give it a nice raised panel look. Using a chisel, I'll make a dado for a divider piece that I'll be adding later on. Next, I'll mark out and cut the dados on the side pieces that the bottom is going to fit into. I don't have a plow plane, so I'll just use a chisel and my router plane to cut these dados.
I decided to add some handles to this tray and I wanted the handles to be held together and then attached to the tray using sliding dovetails. I make the size of the handles first which have a male end that will attach to the tray and also a female end where the cocoa bowl handle will slide into. I'll use the male end of the dovetail to lay out the female end on the tray side pieces and then I'll cut those out with a chisel and a router plane. Next, I'll make the handles and the tusks or wedges or pegs, whatever you want to call them. And I chose to use Coca Bola for these as they're a very beautiful, dark, exotic hardwood, and I thought they would contrast well. It's extremely hard, but if your tools are well maintained and sharp, it can still be worked by hand. I cut sliding dovetails to fit the sides of the handles, then I'll shape the handles with a chisel, spoke shave, and a variety of rasps until they're nice and comfortable in the hand. And before I can put it all together, I just need to finish cutting the mortises for the tusks. And now for the most rewarding part, putting all these pieces together. I decided to leave the sapwood edge of the walnut in its rough state from the mill. I thought the contrast between the rough kind of live edge and the intentional joinery would look really nice together. To finish it, I just used some natural walnut oil and then I'll tap the tusks in to lock the tray together. 
My favorite parts of this little project are definitely the handles and the scalloping look on the bottom left by the scrub plane. Let me know down in the comment section which parts you liked, what you didn't like, if you changed anything. I always love hearing your ideas and feedback. And I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and an even bigger thank you to all my Patreons who help support this channel and allow me to make this kind of content. If you want to help support the channel through Patreon, there'll be a link to that down in the description. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you next time.